Hi friends, I'm Madeline. In today's video, we're going to be doing a few exercises and stretches for managing popping, clicking, and just otherwise uncomfortable knees. The more active your lifestyle and the longer you've lived that active lifestyle, the more significant the wear and tear on your knees is going to be. It's important that we stabilize our knees and that we make sure that our knee joints work for us the best they can. This video is all about getting our knee joint to work a little bit better for us, lube up that knee joint a little bit so that it can perform for us the best it can for as long as it can. If you're new here or if you haven't yet, please don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. All right guys, let's do it. For this first exercise, we're gonna sit on a bench or a chair, something that you can scoop back on and have room to lift your leg. We're gonna start by rotating our, kind of the lower part of our leg, foot and ankle in. We're gonna come up and extend that knee fully. We're gonna come down, shifting it the opposite way, fully extending it, the toe out, coming down, toe in. We're just rotating the tibia on the knee joint here. You may feel a little bit of popping, clicking, weird sensation in the knee, and that is okay. We're gonna work through a little bit of that. Squeezing that quad to get your knee as straight as you can at the top. Make sure you repeat this exercise on both sides. I would do maybe three sets of 10 on each of your legs. Coming up, squeezing that quad, coming back down, just getting a little bit of pressure through that knee joint as you squeeze and straighten. You're going to feel some popping and clicking. If you can do this until you've worked out all the pops and clicks, that is going to be the most beneficial. For our next exercise, we're going to take a circular band uh, cut out of a TheraBand. These are pretty accessible. You can get them different places. Once you've got your circular band, you're gonna put one foot and step on the band. The other foot is going to go through the band. This is your anchor point down below. That leg is gonna come back a little bit closer to you. And then we are gonna straighten the leg that has the band looped around the ankle. So toe just straight on this one, squeezing that quad. You're gonna lower down very slowly and controlled as you can. Coming up, the goal is to get that knee as straight as you possibly can. It's helpful if you can sit back on your surface a little bit. I can't go much further back because I'm going to fall off of this bench. But if you can get back where your knee is just a couple inches away from the edge, that's going to stabilize your thigh a little bit better so that's not lifting or moving around on you. Once you've done about two sets of ten with maybe five seconds to lower, controlled all the way down, go ahead and switch sides. One foot and one ankle coming up, squeezing that quad all the way straight, coming back down nice and controlled. By this point, your knees should be feeling pretty good. You shouldn't be having too much pain underneath your knee. Shouldn't be as much popping and clicking after that first exercise. And focusing on that coming down to that eccentric part of the muscle contraction. Next exercise we're going to do the reverse of that quad exercise. We are going to step our front leg forward. This time the band can be around the ankles. So you're going to be taking your one leg that's um, bent back and we're going to hamstring curl as far underneath you as you can and then you're going to let that band out as slowly as you can. So if you have room underneath your surface, you're going to curl and let it forward nice and slowly. Work in the opposite side of the knee joint, that hamstring on the back. Don't want to forget this side it's very important so um, switching sides same thing over here letting that band pull back as far as it can and then you're lowering forward controlled as you can Same thing 
used before, maybe two sets of 10, and you're taking about five seconds to get forward all the way. Guys, we're gonna work on some kneecap mobility. So you're gonna take that kneecap, find your kneecap with a finger on the top and a finger on the bottom, and then we're just gonna work it up and down, holding a little, pressing down, it may move more in one direction than the other. But if your knee is really, really wobbly, um, you don't want that. You want a little bit of play, um, but you also don't want it to be stiff and not able to move. So you should feel your kneecap kind of sliding forward and backwards. And you'll do maybe 10 times front to back. And then we're gonna do the same thing side to side. So a finger on each side, you're not forcing you're not pushing really, really hard, but you're just letting it move to the available range that it has. Pushing out, maybe doing some holds. You don't want this kneecap to lock up because that can cause some pain. That can be the reason for some clicking and pain that you feel in your kneecap. So going backwards, up and down and then going side to side each a few times either with just slow and steady or with some holds. For our next exercise we're going to take our chair or our surface that we were using for the last exercise. We're going to place the top of your foot on that surface and then instead of really leaning down to stretch the quad we're going to press the hips forward. So hips are pressing forward, knee is pretty much 90 degrees, maybe a little bit more bent if you want to bend into this standing leg. But we're going to squeeze this glute of the leg that's up. We're going to squeeze the glute at the same time as we press forward. And chances are you're going to feel it more in the front of your quad. That's where you want to feel it and less in the knee itself. And this is going to help reduce any pressure down at the patellar tendon by stretching the bulk of the muscle which is up towards your hip. And we're going to hold about 30 seconds to a minute on either side, switching sides. Again, 30 seconds to a minute, pressing that hip forward, squeezing that back glute, and feeling it hopefully right in the front of the thigh rather than in the knee joint itself. Exercise some sort of step stool. It can be whatever height you feel comfortable using. We're going to stand up there which with, with whichever knee we're planning on working first. Of course, your toe you want pretty much straight forward. Don't let it turn in. Your knee is going to stay straight over the middle of your foot. You're not going to let that knee come in towards the center. From here, we're going to come down. We're going to lower slowly. You're just tapping that front knee down. We're going to come back up and then we're going to tap it back. So all the control is coming from this standing leg. The weight should be more in the heel of the front leg. It's gonna transition forward a little bit as you come forward, depending on how tall that step is that you're using. But you're trying to keep that weight back, more distributed into your hamstrings and your glutes. We're gonna do two sets of 10. Switching sides once you've done that two sets. And same thing on the other side. You're always going to have one side that's a little bit trickier. My left side is always a little bit harder for me. Have to take a little bit more time into the control and making sure that I don't do anything with bad mechanics. You don't want your knee wobbling around. And if it is, you may want a lower surface, or you may just want to take a little bit more time in between your reps or your sets. This last exercise is another knee extension exercise. So taking maybe a larger band looping it around something like I'm going to do, or you can put the knot in, close it in a door, so it's nice and solid, about the height of your knee. 
So once you've gotten that nice and secured, you're gonna put your foot through whichever foot you want to start with, right on the back of your knees where that pressure is gonna go. You're gonna step back till you get a decent amount of resistance. The relaxed point is when your knee is bent, and then you're gonna straighten your knee all the way. In weight bearing is a good place to strengthen the quad and work on that terminal knee extension. We're gonna hold five seconds and we're gonna lower forward nice and slowly. Holding 10, we're gonna do about 20, 30 times on each side. And you might get some pops and clicks with this one as well. Swapping that band out to the other side when you've done your 20 or 30. Squeezing that quad and make sure that you're doing all the way straight and only by using your quad, you're trying not to use your body at all as you're doing this. 